What in God's name is this? I'm sick to death. Making fun of every fandom. Take him down. Oh, for Christ's sake, fucking change the org. Change.org is a petition website driven by the idea that they're a platform for the little guy, a way to get your vision out there without the aid of powerful supporters or celebrities, to empower those without a real voice, to craft a world in which no one is powerless. Sounds like the best idea ever, right? Wrong. Sure, the website might do good to a certain extent, and at least the bigger campaigns are bringing some attention to important issues that need dealing with. But Change.org has gradually become a laughable compilation of complainers and whiners who have no real idea what they're talking about. They throw out statistics like, This many million people are taking action! When in reality, 99% of these people who are taking action are some of the biggest fucking idiots on the internet. I see it all the time, something slightly controversial happens. Then immediately a ridiculous petition crops up as if it's gonna do anything. When you turn the idea of a petition into a social media outlet, where people care more about how many comments and shares they get instead of what the meat of the problem is, then it becomes a farcical assembly of some of the most moronic ideas imaginable. When you casually visit the website and look at some of the newly listed petitions, you are GUARANTEED to find at least one that makes your brain hurt a at all. Just look at this one here. It's about forced adoptions, which is obviously something pretty serious. Then look at the title. Bring my son home to he's loving family. Uh, are you serious? Come on, if you want me to take it seriously, at least apply the most basic form of grammar to the title. But that's not even the worst part. It's the comments from the people who sign these things. It's like I'm on a comment comeback, it really is. I'm going through this myself. Feel its passion close my heart. <clears throat> Everyone should have a chance in life to do the right thing and forced adoption is very wrong unless under extreme circumstances like pedos or ripest or murders. None of this is fabricated. I did not fake this. This is a real comment on the page. Social took my daughter for no reason. They picked the vulnerable and it not Right. Okay, I don't really want to be a grammar Nazi here, but... How can you even get it so wrong? How is it even possible at this point? Spell checker is a thing! Remaster Modern Warfare 2 for next-gen consoles. Okay, this one has a lot of supporters. A hell of a lot. But guess what? They don't give a fuck. Do people not understand how businesses work? If this does end up happening, it won't be because of a stupid petition. It'll be because they know as a business that they can make a fuck ton of money off it. And this petition isn't even an example of scraping the bottom of the barrel. More episodes of Doof Daily on YouTube. Let's get Markiplier to be in the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. Don't let grown-ups play Minecraft. Banned legal highs. Banned. Then about every three minutes, a new petition is filed to get Katie Hopkins banned. Banned from existing, apparently. Look, I know she's a cunt, but you're kind of a supreme idiot if you get offended by the shit she says. She thrives off the negative attention that has made her career. And every one of these stupid fucking petitions is another win for her. Ignore it and it might go away. I know you might not be convinced that this website is fully bad based on what I just showed you, but how about this for hypocrisy? They claim that their goal is to empower people and want a world where no one is powerless, but you can throw fat stacks of money at them with sponsored campaigns to not take power away from anyone, but crush the little guy by supporting the gap they're trying to fight in the first place. I don't really have much more to say than that. I don't really think much more needs to be said. Actually, you know what? there. My very own petition that is against the idea of idiots petitioning on this website. You only have to browse around this website for a few minutes to see how broken and stupid everything is. Clearly people are too thick to understand what this website should be used for. For every petition that wants to ban Katie Hopkins or banned legal highs, proves nothing but how the majority of the general public are not mature enough to manage something like a petition. Please, help filter the stupidity by implementing some kind of monitoring system. Or don't. I don't really give a flying fuck about this website. I'm just sick of moronic petitions making rounds across the internet. So those are my thoughts on Change.org. 
Pretty specific idea, but it's been bothering me for a while now. Ever since the don't make a PC version of GTA petition that was floating around. So what do you think about change.org? Do you think it does more good than bad? Or do you think it's a stupid collection of stupid people being stupid about stupid things that don't matter? Tell me in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. All comments and ratings are very much appreciated. Make sure you check out my other videos and Q&A channel Jar Media for more content. I'll see you next time. Bye.